West Dover's Partners Fund is us helping our brothers and sisters here at West Dover. So we do a lot more than us and more than here, but this is kind of taking care of the here. We're looking to help people who have lost income due to um, COVID related things. Goodness, when you see 170 cars coming through a line, the need is real. It looks different, that's all. We've given away around $220,000 uh, worth of groceries over these past seven months. Zoom was a, such a great blessing. You know, we start, you know, reaching out. The, our people came, they invited more people, and just uh, then uh, invited some people out of country. You know, right now we have uh, people from five different towns in Germany, and we have uh, people from Turkey. They join us on Sunday on Zoom. It's uh, such a blessing you know that we be able to reach out you know talk about the God's uh, the love of God you know while we keep talking about we can't wait for this to be over and get off zoom and get back in person uh, Matthew is saying we can't ever get off zoom we have to stay on there because there's these people from all over the world who are being touched with the message of Christ right now in Harvest Blessing I would like to uh, acknowledge that our food pantry on Mondays and Fridays that we serve during the week and also we have a satellite in East Austin that we also serve and we serve about 40,000 families during this time. And also I like to recognize the volunteers that serve there as well. We've been able to help with rent, insurance payments, car payments, um, medical payments in some cases. Um, we do gift cards for groceries. The Lord has provided through the generosity of you uh, people at Westover uh, over $115,000 for us to be able to uh, serve people with. And so far we've been able to help I believe over 30 families, is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, which is over 100 individuals. Uh, but you need to know that people have really been moved by the fact that their church family is there for them during some of the most difficult times that there is. It's important to realize that before the pandemic, we were serving approximately 120 families, roughly. And since March, we've served more than 5,000 families. But we have not lacked for volunteers and servants any day we've been up here. And that is remarkable, and that's because of the family here at Westover. Right here at Steck and Mesa, and all of these other locations can just show how the unity of Christ can be shared between all of these congregations to make a difference in this one city.